Hi there, I'm Sabrina, and let me tell you a thing. Nowadays, women are killing it in the literary world. We've got our J.K. Rowling's, our Cassandra Clare's, our E.L. James's. But women leading in literature isn't very new. Women have been around since the start of literature. And in a way, they started it. Because Anne Heduana, a Sumerian high priestess from around the 3rd millennium BCE, wrote a bunch of these temple hymns. And because of that, she is considered to be one of the first authors known by name ever, because she had the bright idea to take credit for her work. She even said, my king, something has been created that no one has created before. You go, Anne Heduana. And she is just one of the female trailblazers in literary history. Another is Murasaki Shikibu, who is credited with writing the first full-length novel. And by full-length, I mean 54 chapters covering 1,100 pages. Is that when a war flashbacks to English class? Or should I say Japanese class because this Japanese lady in waiting was born in the Heian period. Murasaki Shikibu meshed the styles and themes of Chinese and Japanese literature while removing any mythical aspects. And thus we have the first ever novel, The Tales of Genji. Now Batman may not have existed without our third lady. Emma Orczy, or Orczy, or... <laughs> Names are hard! How to pronounce Emma Orczy? Orczy. Ortsy was a 20th century British novelist who wrote The Scarlet Pimpernel. It stars Sir Percy Blakeney, this rich aristocrat who doubles as The Scarlet Pimpernel, who leads a group that saves lives in a city riddled with fear and terror. Does that sound familiar? Does that sound familiar? <laughs> Ortsy's creation became the template for the masked hero leading a double life, a template used by many superheroes we know and love today. And many of you have heard of our last lady. She wrote this thing called The Modern Prometheus, or as you may know it, Frankenstein. I'll let Isaac Asimov, every sci-fi geek's papi, explain why Mary Shelley is so important. Mary Shelley was the first to make use of a new finding of science which she advanced further to a logical extreme. And it is that which makes Frankenstein the first true science fiction story. No one can imagine a world without these women. Would it be a world with anonymous authors? A world with only myths or histories? Or maybe one without superheroes or robot overlords? Or maybe it would be the exact same with somebody else filling their place just a little bit later. All I know is that these four ladies have something in common that so many a YouTube commenter don't. The right to say, FIRST! <laughs>